For around two months, the country managed to keep daily COVID-19 cases below 70, but a surge could be expected on Saturday when hundreds of South Korean nationals returned from Iraq. The KCDC vowed to contain further spread in local communities. Kim Zong min helps us look beyond the digits. The Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said Friday that the number of newly confirmed cases on Saturday is likely to reach over 100 following the return of Korean construction workers from Iraq. The charter flight sent to Iraq arrived at Incheon Airport on Friday morning, bringing back 293 Korean construction workers. Around 89 of them were found to show symptoms of the virus. Another set of cases has emerged from the crew of a Russian ship docked at the Busan port. 32 crew members have been belatedly confirmed to be infected, along with five ship repair workers. This would also appear in the figures reported on Saturday. There's a high possibility that the newly confirmed cases will reach triple digits, surpassing 100. But even if it turns out to be the case, our headquarters and the government will try our best to contain further infections, while believing that it was an act to save our nationals from the danger of the COVID-19 in Iraq. The official added that the public should not be frustrated or surprised too much by the sudden hike in the numbers. As for the distancing policies in local communities, the ban on small gatherings at churches has been lifted as of Friday 6 p.m. However, the government once again said that people should still take precautionary measures like keeping sufficient distance between themselves and wearing masks. South Korea reported 41 new cases on Friday. Of those, 13 were imported cases. There was one more death, bringing the death toll to 298. Kim Sung-min, Arirang News.